Which planet in the solar system is the largest you'd be accurate if you answered with Jupiter? The giant globe is not simply enormous though since its discovery scientists have been intrigued by several of its mysteries. Many spacecraft have visited the planet which is excellent. Our knowledge of the massive planet has greatly expanded. What discoveries have been made on Jupiter? And how have they affected the Sun and our planet? Learn about the amazing discovery that scientists made using Jupiter images, which have been sent to Earth in this video. An introduction to Jupiter. The most giant planet in the solar system Jupiter is named after the Roman mythological monarch of the gods. The gas giant creates uncertainty by deploying vivid clouds that are battered by powerful winds that rush underneath rings and moons. Jupiter is just huge. When paired with the large red spot, it has a mass that is more than double that of all the other planets in the solar system. The planet's largest storm really spans a region twice the size of Earth. You'll see more wonders of the enormous red spot later on in this episode. Jupiter is big enough to hold more than one. 300 Earths in volume. Jupiter was destined to be a star if it had developed 80 times bigger. It is the third brightest object in the solar system after Venus and the Moon. Jupiter has actually been referred to as a failed star by certain scientists, although that's not quite the right term. Helium is created by fusing hydrogen atoms under extremely high heat and pressure, which causes stars to emit light and heat while producing energy. If you notice a star shining unusually brightly high in the sky, you're probably looking at Jupiter. It's possible to see some of Jupiter's moons as well. How would Jupiter appear if you defined yourself there? The magnetic field of Jupiter is 20,000 times stronger than that of the Earth-producing radiations that are 20 times more deadly to people by trapping electrons and other charged particles. Strong east-west winds in Jupiter's. The light and dark stripes you observe on the planet are caused by the upper hemisphere. More than 11,000 interesting asteroids are impacted by the Sun's and Jupiter's gravitational field interactions. Jupiter and Earth a blessing or a curse, as formerly thought, Jupiter's gravity propels hazardous asteroids toward us, rather than keeps them far. Using computer simulations, scientists have found that the gigantic planet actually puts humans in danger. Jupiter has been discovered to be a hostile bully rather than the Earth's protecting big brother. According to the theory of the Jupiter shield, Jupiter serves as a large space shield that protects the Earth from asteroids and comets. Recent studies suggest that it is just as likely to snag particles coming from outside the globe and throw them in our direction. Jupiter's gravity may push some asteroids towards the Sun by increasing the likelihood of some asteroids hitting our planet home Jupiter. When Jupiter originally flashed, it was barely visible for two seconds before disappearing. The flare was thought to have originated from a massive meteor blazing above Jupiter's cloud tops. The search for an impactor's black eye pattern came next. But in the end, astronomers went to the Hubble telescope for help. However, not even the Hubble could provide any evidence. Therefore, daybreak was not seen. Pluto's moon we shall now revisit. Jupiter's moon Io in light of the ensuing scientific discovery. Io, a moon of Jupiter, contains large-scale structures that mimic dunes. Scientists have struggled to replicate the dynamics at play for a very long time. When a single salt or ice particle may calculate its path as lava flows into sulfur dioxide beneath the moon's surface. Equations in mathematics were used by scientists. The scientists next searched for evidence in the images of Io's surface that the Galileo spacecraft had taken, after creating or imitating the process by which dunes may form. That observations of the height-to-width ratio, spacing, and crest were consistent with dune patterns observed on Earth and other planets. Jupiter is the solar system's planet with the most resources with 79 confirmed moons. The distinction of being the only moon with a magnetic field of its ownership belongs to Ganymede along with the atmospheric water vapor originally discovered this year. Europa might have a lot of ice and water layers. Launched in 2023, the European Jupiter icy moon explorer often known as JUICE will reach the Jupiter system in 2030. Io is a further Jupiter moon than merits research. Io, the moon of Jupiter, is one of the solar system's most volcanically active bodies, ejecting more than a ton of material per second. The pepperoni pizza hue of Io is caused by sulfur or volcanic ash. Jupiter is strong as it rounds the Earth. Ties rise 300 feet, 100 meters, or 100 meters above the solid surface. Red and blue patches, the ring of Jupiter, and the mystique surrounding energy ions. 
Another significant subject is the Jupiter ring system. NASA's Voyager 1 has demonstrated that it has three rings. Other planets, like Saturn and Neptune, have rings that are more obvious. Jupiter has a set of its own that is primarily composed of moon dust. In 1665, Italian astronomer Giovanni Cascioni made the initial discovery of the huge red spot. It's a huge storm that has been blowing continuously for more than 350 years like a hurricane. The spot has been getting smaller for a time, despite the fact that the rate may have just slowed. The information acquired from 32 orbits was used to produce the map during Juno's primary mission. Great blue spot moving relative to the rest of Jupiter's interior, eastward at a speed of about 2 inches per second. For the first time, researchers were able to pinpoint the origin of the high-energy ions that form Jupiter's inner band. According to scientists, a volcanic explosion on the moon Io produced the Io. The group found an unusually large concentration of oxygen Io with high energy close to Amorthea's orbit, which orbits Jupiter deeper inward. Jupiter life. There are many methods to search for extraterrestrial life, even though the situation is bad right now. Our neighboring planet Mars appears to have been livable maybe to Venice. But lately, scientists' focus has shifted to other places. What about Jupiter's moons? Because it serves as a solvent liquid. For life to exist on Earth and for organisms to produce organic materials like proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids, water is a must. Carbon is a necessary building block. Many bacteria can convert atmospheric nitrogen into a form that living beings can use. Additionally, phosphorus, sulfur, and location are studied by scientists. This water, which is believed to be an ocean beneath the surface, is supposed to have been generated by the breakdown of mineral-rich water due to tidal pressures or radioactive decay. The study's findings, which have not yet completed peer review, could affect other moons. As the Europa Clipper mission is set to launch in the coming years, the government may use these discoveries to continue its examination of Europa's habitability in the solar system. This led them to the conclusion that life may be extremely hospitable in the water. Around 0.25% of the molecules in the atmosphere at Jupiter's equator are made up of water. According to research from NASA's Juno spacecraft, it is based on a concentration of hydrogen and oxygen that is three times greater than at the Sun. The knowledge is both astonishing and unsettling. As compared to NASA's Galileo data on Jupiter, it is different. How did they learn? It turns out that Jupiter's atmosphere is far drier than originally thought. According to scientists, the more deeply a probe penetrates the Jovian atmosphere, the more water there appears to be planets Neptune and Uranus have been blamed for being pushed away from the Sun by Jupiter because it has been demonstrated that Jupiter's tremendous gravity pushes planets like Earth and Saturn outside of our solar system. You might be wondering if there is a chance of life on Jupiter given everything. Scientists have determined that life would need to be literally in the clouds in order to survive on Jupiter. Data from that day, June 7, 2021, was used to construct the audio sample from Jupiter's flyby of Ganymede. Our comprehension of the turbulent atmosphere of Jupiter may help us comprehend the physical processes taking place on Earth. We are learning more about Jupiter's turbulent atmosphere, thanks to the oceanographer's use of Juno's photographs. What do you think right now? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.